Have you ever seen a kid go to a toy store feeling so overwhelmed and confused by all the varieties of toys available and not knowing what toy to buy? Sometimes I feel like this lost and helpless kid when making dua because I have an endless number of things I want to ask from God and even after a long dua session I feel like I missed asking about something. I feel afraid that my confusion has made my duas less effective. If you can relate then I'm going to share a technique that has helped me maximize my dua time. A strategy that has helped me feel refreshed with renewed zeal after every dua session. I like to call this method the dua mind map. Generally, most of our duas tends to revolve around one aspect of our life, an aspect which seems to be affecting us the most at a given time. For example, if you're on a tight budget, then we are more inclined towards spending more time making dua seeking more risk. Or, if an exam is around the corner, most of our dua is about getting good grades. By doing so, we neglect asking dua for other aspects of our life that are equally or more important. All this can be avoided by the dua mind map technique. This strategy helps us make a well thought out wholesome dua list. It will not just help you cover all the aspects of your life but it will also help you memorize your duas so you can ask them in every solar, in every sujood and anytime you want to make dua in the little pockets of time you get in your busy life. This strategy has three steps. Step one is to brain dump all the duas you want to ask under the different aspects of life. The different aspects I came up with are spiritual, legacy, personal growth, finances, and family. Once you've brain dump all the dua under a particular category, review all your duas and write one or three maximum comprehensive duas under each category. Step two is to doodle an image. When we memorize our dua, one of the problems that may arise is us becoming monotonous with the duas after some time. We might begin to make dua unconsciously, purely from the mind map that gets by hearted. To avoid this, instead of teaching our mind to remember words of our dua, we are going to imprint an image. When I say think of a cat, what did your mind think of? Did it think of the letter C A T or did your mind think of an image of a cat? I'm positive it's the latter because our mind thinks in images. So in this step, we are going to envision what our dream life is going to look like once the dua we ask for is answered. It's something like current me versus future me after the dua has been answered. You don't have to be an artist, even stick figures and rough lines would do. What's more important is for you to feel the dua, the joy the happiness, the excitement. Step 3. Finally, we are going to put step 1 and step 2 together into your mind map. With you at the center and subject and all the other different aspects branching out from you, write the different categories under each branch. Write your comprehensive dua and draw the doodle and add at least one one name or attribute of Allah that aligns with your dua. Do it with emotions and try to imprint the images in your mind. The next time you make dua, recall the image. Recall the feelings and make dua in whatever words that you feel inspired to ask by at that moment. Instead of just stating what you recall from your mind map, allow your feelings and emotions to guide you. To have a heartfelt, genuine conversation with Allah that's full of sincerity. I hope this mind map dua takes technique will help you as much as it has helped me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Catch you in the next video inshallah. Take care.